We've been boarded. This deck is crawling with Cylons. They're trying to get to the magazines. Okay. Magazines? Which magazines? Like People? National Geographic? Colonel Ty's stash of Playboys. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time to start another season of Battlestar Galactica. New season? We haven't... Season two. We haven't started remember it the yet. the finale? Oh, I remember. What I happened? I just can't believe that it's been this long since we've watched it. Yeah, it's been a week. It's been longer than that, hasn't it? Well, maybe we're watching it in a couple days ahead of schedule. Man. But yeah, what happened in the finale of season one? Do we have to recap it all? Lots happened. Do you, I'm just making sure you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's re recap's not for them. It's for you. I remember she's on Caprica. Okay. Um, with the, yep, and they're they just beat the thing and. <laughs> so you don't remember <laughs> anything because you're just bullshit. No, I I remember. I just okay. don't. So Starbuck got the arrow. Can't verbalize it. And fought off at a, a model six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hilo's helping her. Hilo's also with a. Sharon. Mm -hmm. Sharon, and she's pregnant. apparently pregnant. And Gaius is going to, and they're on the planet thing. They're on COBOL. And then at the very Gaius end, what happened the at the babies. very end? I don't remember. Commander Adama? Died. He got shot. He got He's shot not dead yet. He by might Boomer. Be. He might be. <sighs> Bleeding out on the command deck. What's going to happen? Well, I'm hopeful that he survives because he's on the cover of season two, so... I mean, maybe it's short-lived. I don't know. Yeah. Just the one episode maybe of him flash dying. With Apollo. Oh, that would suck, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ugh. Well, should we jump in and find out? Let's do it. Let's well, do first, it. Like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Battlestar Galactica Season 2. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. Full link, commentary, access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram. You know. Instagram and Twitter. You know. Let's watch Season 2 of Battlestar Galactica. Here we go. Oh, good. We're still doing this. You could even remember what happened in the finale, so uh, this, this is, is for you. Literally from the first. No, they're, they're it's new. Not that new. Sure. Thank goodness. Cette planète. Mettez en place une équipe d'exploration composée de trois. <laughs> it's in French. <laughs> Why is it on track two? Why would it be in French? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's weird. I don't remember I her. Apparently, the rib I did. I don't remember her saying it. All right. In different language. <laughs> Are you going to keep that in? <laughs> First go around, it was in French. So, trying it again. This time in English. I, why would it go on track two as the fault? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. There we go. See the face of the shape of things to come. Isn't she beautiful, guys? It's a four-slot toaster. That's what it is. <laughs> Good one. So beautiful. Make a hole! Where's the medics? Where's the oh, 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 shit! Oh, 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 you see Evan flashbacks. Wait, what? It's that metal door with the three on it. Single contact. Cylon B star bearing four eight seven carom O one five. Could be Starbuck. We are making an immediate jump to the emergency coordinates. Go! Sir, Doc Cottle is still 15 minutes away. You'll have to rejoin us on the other side of the job. Sir, what about our people on the surface of Cobalt? If they're still alive, they'll have to wait. How long? It's Alpha. Clock will start on my mark. Mark. Oh, boy. Doctor's not going to get to Commander Adama for a while. Away. Stand by to jump in five, four, three. Is Ty making the right move here? He's making the only move he thinks is safe at this point. Jump completed. Report. 
Nobody else is there. They're the only ones. Oopsie. That so was who, part of the Cylon plan. <laughs> so who jumped to the wrong spot? Wow, that sucks. Especially when you need the doctor to save uh, Adama's life. And yeah, he's not there. He's, uh, they won't even know where to find him. Best hope is Galactica just accidentally jumped to the wrong coordinates and can jump right back. Different intro. There's no drums. Dang it. I'm having a little difficulty. I'm trying to understand. I want to understand. You're the mother. And you're the father. Am I the father? <laughs> and if you wouldn't mind carrying something this time, that'd be great. Be f useful, Gaius. <laughs> Arizona it should help you breathe a little easier. Yeah, punctured lung. Everybody down! What was that? Is that silence? Was that the explosion of the mothership? I don't know. Or since this will be your ship, your command, all I'm saying is. This you is need Bill Adama's ship. Stop putting more pressure on him, damn it. This will be Adama's command until the day he dies. And we are not going to let him die. So say we all. So say we all. Do they have the old coordinates that they... They have to have, right? Our nav computers can use those star fixes to generate a best fit solution given the fleet's current position. The Cylons are waiting for us back there. Maybe. Colonel Ty cannot relocate this fleet on his own without your father. Ty's not letting me out of here. I put a gun to his head. He won't forget that anytime soon. I am so sorry that I got you into this, Captain. No sh**. I didn't do it for you. Well, actually, I did it for nothing, it turns out. <laughs> and now look at us. Her assistant's not in the cell, is he? He was just no, visiting. Yeah, he's telling her what's going on. I'm gonna run to a bunch of fuzzy bears, I bet. Could be. Jesus, guys, get it together, dude. Well, I'm glad at least something's consistent. I still hate Gaius. <laughs> it's fluid. If he doesn't get more Sarazone soon, he's not gonna make it. He's probably not gonna make it either way. Side arms out. It's hard. You bring it up the rear, in the middle. Shh. Eyes and ears. Back to Capricorn. I don't even know if there's Cylons on Cobalt anymore since they blew up the big ship, right? Her consciousness is being downloaded into another body right now. And when she wakes up, she'll tell them exactly where we are. Shrey, we can't stay here. Get moving. All right, I remember how you felt about her, but that is not the real Sharon. That is some cheap knockoff copy. I'm not a copy. I'm Sharon. <laughs> Get out of the way. No. Carl, do not think that I will not shoot. I'm not gonna let you kill her. We don't have time for this. They're not human, Hilo. They're machines. You can't have a baby with a machine. I don't know what to tell you, okay? But I believe her. It's, it's, it's hard to describe. We've been together a long time. Cool, then stay there with her. <laughs> Starbuck, get the f out of there. Oh, she getting the raider? Bitch took my ride. Great plan, Hilo. Dumbass. An idiot. Men. Always thinking with their dicks. Or something. His blood pressure is way down. Somebody needs to get in there and stop the bleeding, or we'll lose him. How long till Doc Cottle's aboard? It's gonna be a while. He doesn't have much time, sir. Then you better do it. You're gonna have to go in yourself. Me? I'm just a medic. Today you're a doctor. It's just a spleen. Don't need that. Who needs it? 
then he's alive. Like the gods. Oh. Yeah. What's behind door number three? I mean, Boomer doesn't know anything. She just gets switched off and then back to... Yeah. I got it, Chief. Keep your phone All right, down. let's get the hell out of here. We'll grab that other box while you're there. Tell you what, Callie. If it makes you feel any better, I'll put them on hangar deck mop-up duty with you for next week. Now you're talking. Shh. For what? If anybody should show mop duty, it's LT. Don't! Don't! Get down! Not okay. Not okay at all. I don't think he's gonna be okay. He's got shot she, again. He's just using him as a shield now. Me, me shield. <laughs> Really heavy shield. He's like that one guy in a uh, Total Recall. Yeah. Arnold just kept. <laughs> Stay with me. Here, be with me. Be with me. Come on. Come on. Hey. 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 Who's even shooting at him? Uh, couldn't see anything. I can devise a software firewall that will buy us more time. Really? You're gonna outthink the silence of computer software? Sir, if It's we... all in the same ship, though, too, right? We can't do something he'd oppose, especially when it puts the entire ship at risk. Oh, boy. He's gonna do it. It's just a local area network, not a wide area network. You'll be okay. You get jump prep. Those are my orders. He wants to save Adana. He's like, I gotta do this in the f quickest time possible, right? When I'm on duty, I'll make no attempt to free her or sow insurrection among the crew. When I'm not on duty, I'll report directly back to this cell. Colonel, once you find the fleet, I'd like to have a word with you. There's nothing to talk about. You went up against the old man and you lost. <laughs> what are they gonna do about the president? They're not worried about her right now. Best I can make it, sir. Wish Dr. Baltar was here. Hell with that. Take your work over that shifty son of a bitch any day. Amen. <laughs> Jump completed. Report. Multiple greatest contacts. Cylon base star and multiple Cylon. <laughs> oh boy. I have to hold them all off for ten minutes. They're like bees in a honey hive there. Yeah. What? What about it? Is it over? Do I need to rewind it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> Singing that song, right? I'm sure she did. Did you just rewind it? I'm rewinding it. Um, Charlie, I'll help push play when it's done. You woke her up enough to. Uh, we'll be able to plot the fleet's position in seven minutes. Seven minutes of fighting. Clean up. My right, boy, shut up and focus. It's not a simulation. Roger that. Yeah, no sh you seen all of the all <laughs> the enemy ships there. Power's unstable. The battery units are at the aid stations. Well then get me a knife. Just gonna pump his heart manually. I imagine. Well, it was just beeping there. His heart back up. Oh no. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's bearing on Galactica. We gotta take it out. Apollo, hot dog defensive. 
Right, Hot Dog's played by Kadamardom as uh, real son. Oh. We offer this prayer. Worst time to do surgery. Yeah. Ship. When your ship's under attack. <laughs> Second firewall's been breached. I gotta take this thing out. This thing hacking. Right? Oh, sh**. It's like a tank. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! It's not fast enough. They're through the fourth firewall. One left to lead access to the mainframe. That's mine. That was mine. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull. Pull the ripcord. Could you have picked a worse time? What? Yeah. Is yeah. Charlie not helping you? Charlie's not helping you. I knew that was going to happen. Charlie's not paying attention to the movie. Well, then go play. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> I said, Charlie, you're supposed to push play. <laughs> she fell asleep in like the two minutes that it was rewinding. <laughs> Oh boy. There's. Oh, phew. The fleet's there. I was like, shit, they're <laughs> alone still. D, contact the Rising Star. Tell Coddle to get his ass over here ASAP. Is this show filmed in Canada? I think it might. Some of the zombies. Some of the actors are very Canadian. <laughs> From now on, no more heart massages for me. I'm sticking to pills and enemas. Are enemas that much better? A lot less, you know. Life, life threatening. Life. I managed to stop the bleeding, um, but he's still critical. Did she remove the spleen? I, I, did you remove the bullets? <laughs> What's behind that th door number three? Oh, jeez. Major Adamus, compliments. He wishes me to inform you you've been reinstated in the Colonial Fleet. The rank of Captain. Hmm. Major Adamus. Adamus saved his life right here. Yeah. He was about to, like, burn himself alive there? Yeah. No, maybe not burn himself alive, but definitely light Might his... have been burning his, like, badges on, or something. Yeah. Right? If you'd just let me be, I'd have died back there in Caprica along with everyone else. And I don't want to command. I never did. Don't you dare die on me now. I'll, I'll be your second man in charge, but I don't want to be the leader. Uh-oh. What's on that thing? I don't think anything good. Whatever it is, it's probably already infiltrating the ship. Well, good. Just... Oh Shit. boy. Shit. Just a... All right. We found the fleet. Yep. But they're still not out of the woods yet. No, nope, they got all. They these still got to go back there. to Cobalt and get everybody else too. Yeah. And uh, they got to get the commander stable. They, they got to figure out what they're doing with the president. They got to figure out how to get Starbuck back. She's they got to get Starbuck stuck back. on Caprica now because yep. freaking Hilo's an idiot. 
I mean, the only way... Oh, yeah. How, how are they going to get Starbuck? I have no idea. They'll have to find a ship. And why did uh, Sharon just fly off for, like, she was done with Starbuck She's there? She's silent. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, what's on your mind after that episode? What are they going to do with those Cylons that are... Yeah, exactly. Well, I think we gonna sh- have to on board attack just, here we're gonna have a little firefight in the they, halls get a, they the, don't even know that they're there yeah we uh we've got to watch the next episode to find out yeah should we watch some more yeah let's watch some more Battlestar Galactica it's an assault ship yeah troop transport mm-hmm. and these things are probably transmitting signal back already right like they're that where they're located yeah I've uh, really been thinking about you. That's nice. I gotta go. That's nice. I've really been thinking about you. That's nice. What the hell? Have the emergency flashlights. Copy that. Check the ventilator. All right, start pumping the ventilator. Super. Manually. The Cylons are disabling the power. Yep. Hot dog. Turn back to get his way. Look at that. Another guy die. Gosh, I can't mm. afford to lose any more claw hands. Yeah, I can't afford to lose any more flyers. Pilots. Thank you. That's the word <laughs> flyers. I was for. I don't know how I forgot that word. <laughs> Such an idiot. Completely new intro this year, this season. It's shorter. One down. Explosive rounds are the only way to take them down. How many rounds you got? That was our last one. Oh, sh! I say again, we have been boarded by a Cylon rating for. Ah! What the hell was that? Jamming our radios. We've been jammed! Mm. It's Raspberry. Lone Star! I have no intention of being locked in this cell and shot like a rat in a cage. Open the door! I mean, what is she gonna do? No joke. Go yell at people. You'll be shot like a rat in this cage now. Congratulations. We're clear, sir. We've been boarded. This deck is crawling with silence. They're trying to get to the magazines. Magazines? Which magazines? Like people? National Geographic? Colonel Ty's stash of Playboys. <laughs> a pellet gun for my uncle when I was like 10. Principle's the same. The real ones just make a bigger noise. And kick a little bit harder. <laughs> It can hurt you a lot more. Yeah. Good luck, Captain. May the Lords protect you. You too. President's definitely getting more uh, religious. Mm-hmm. Faithful. Sharon said they had troops picking up the bodies, transporting them to mass incinerators. Or mass duplicators. Mm-hmm. I've been here for months by myself, on the run, one step ahead of the Cylons. <laughs> right in between them. <laughs> Sandwich. Most of the time, they were just letting you get away. It's stupid. So just call me an idiot and let's be done with it. All right, you're an idiot. But the Cylons have a way of making all of us look like idiots. I start by getting to talk about the boomer you've been interacting with. All right. Um, if they're successful, they will override our decompression safeties and vent us all into space. Oh, lovely. Turn the ship's guns on the fleet and wipe it out once and for all. Ought to send the fleet on their way. The I'm rendezvous point. Well, they can't do that because the coordinates would be hacked right now because the virus. What are you doing here again? Six is on a jetpack. Dr. Baltar. Dreaming again. Shocker. Is this the shape of things to come? That's my understanding. 
What does it look like? A muffin top or something? You gonna kill it? Gonna throw throw it, it in the lake? Baptize it. Oh no, kill it. Okay, great. Jesus Christ. He is untrustworthy because she is just controlling his entire mind. Why would anyone want to drown a baby? Guys, the answer is all around us. Leaves? No. Lots of dead people. Then your true nature asserted itself. Your brutality, your depravity, your barbarism. Is she talking like the Cylons don't have that savagery and barbarism? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. And they just wiped out she's just, billions she's trying, of people. She's just trying to pit one religion on the other, right? right? Just like all of humanity has done since the beginning of time. It's a nice flashlight. They've already been here. We keep that dead. Well, the power's off. The high hey, silence everywhere. All right, settle down, settle down. You're gonna be just fine. Hello? Why didn't they kill him? Hope somebody was feeding her cat. She's a painter. <laughs> Why do you think that was a good idea? <laughs> Look in the cupboards for the canned food. Top ramen. There you go. Stale by now, but still good. <laughs> Whoops. Stogie. Yep. After the attack, I never, never pined over any of my old crap. You know, everyone I know is fighting to get back what they had. I'm fighting because I don't know how to do anything else. Now, so how do they get off Caprica? <laughs> no idea. Corporal Miller, we need an alternate route to sick bay. It's sick bay to see Commander Adam, you think? Yes. There is nothing between the last two Cylons and the decompression safeties. All right. Shit. Hopefully Apollo can catch up to them now. No kidding. I'm gonna get him the kid. Yeah. We gotta go, Kelly. I'm feeling he might be dead by now. Me too. All right, you are under my command. This is a military operation. Do you understand me? What I want to hear from you is yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ought to shoot him right now, because he is a liability. <laughs> what happened? Silence. We think. So we didn't really know. see him after that, or before that. Okay. I'm going home. Yeah. I'm going home. I lost Amanda. Not even save him. Sucks. Yeah. Is that yours? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, it is now. Don't shoot off your. <laughs> You're gonna keep it in your trousers like that? You might wanna turn the safety on. Right. <laughs> She's gonna wanna use that later. <laughs> she at least wants the option. <laughs> you have to head toward aft damage control. Aft damage control. Aft damage control. That's what they're after. Oh, Oh boy. Uh, president. Super. They've only killed like one of them, right? I keep mm -hmm. hearing shooting all around the place, so. Was there like a half dozen of them? I, I counted at least five red eyes in that ship, but there could have been way more, you know? Is the president gonna beat the Cylons to the half damage control? I'm really cut out for this. 
Me neither. Sometimes you gotta roll a hard six. What, what does that mean, sir? Uh, I don't know. Something my dad says. <laughs> <laughs> Something about dice. <laughs> it just means what it means, right? Killing me with anticipation here. Come on. Oh, f Headshot. I got one of them. Was that the last two? Gods, I hope so. We did it! Uh, we no, got there's gonna be one more. They don't look so big now, do they? He's definitely gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jammer's the one that got the first one. Really? Yeah. I think Apollo missed his shot. Oh. Gods must be watching over you. She's dying with something else, so we're like, well, just let the cancer take her. We don't need to shoot her. There's her keys. <laughs> She's got a car now. A motorcycle would be better. It's going to be a pickup. That'll work. An old jalopy. It will draw attention to you, but... Oh, it's armor. You listening? Mm-hmm. Not now. I'm watching the show. <laughs> Try again later. Oh, I will. <laughs> Get the curtain. Oh, dang. Turn the safety off. This isn't my ship. And it sure as hell isn't yours. It's his. And when he wakes up, he'll decide what to do with the both of us. All Colonel Ty can say in his head is he. He's right. <laughs> Thank the gods I didn't have kids. <laughs> well, crisis averted. All right. All is calm. For now. Just gotta lick our wounds. Until they come come after him i like i said i think they're probably past the send coordinates signals on already yeah, i don't you know think? if the the little units can send a signal out like because all the little cylon agents be giving out signals too right so i think you actually have to have like a, a ship? ship yeah there is a ship on the yeah, yeah but <laughs> that's what i'm saying if it's still operational or not yeah the question they need to get into that area and clean it out right get mm -hmm. that Fracking Cylon off the... Get the fracking Cylons out of there, right. fracking idiot. All right. The two-part season premiere of season two. Yeah, it's good. What's on your mind? Well, I'm a little annoyed that Starbucks now is stuck on Caprica, Caprica with yeah. Hilo. Like, that annoys me more than anything, I think. Because yeah. We were just waiting for Hilo to get off Caprica. I know, I, I know. Now Starbucks stuck there with him. Hilo's storyline was my least favorite because mm -hmm. he's detached from everything else. Yeah. And now... Great, Starbucks with him. And Starbucks, one of my favorite characters, so I would like to see her participating in other things besides yeah. hanging out with Hilo, who I just don't care about at this point, so whatever. <laughs> How long until they find a way? I mean, they're going to drive to some place? Probably the whole ship. freaking season. You think it's going to be the whole wait, season that yeah. they're going to be driving around Caprica? At and least half hummer? of it. All right. Well, what about the crew on Cobol? They're not carrying around any dead weight anymore now they, they don't just, have they just gotta worry about guys wandering off and to the stuff forest. i think they're stuck there for a while because yeah. they'll find some fruit they can eat yeah maybe some mountain berries yum mm -mm. Mm. cobalt berries lovely sounds delicious how long do you think commander adam is going to be on the table well hopefully not too much longer but i mean a recovery like that would take one yeah. would think at least six to eight weeks yeah Typical surgical recovery takes about that long. I was hoping for the doctor to show up to treat him because I like his character. And I like his character too. You know, at least some 
comic relief mm-hmm. for you know the thinking about it again. It's like really, this tone, of, the tone of this, this, these two episodes was very dire and serious. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, even I don't think you want want to break that tone with the the comic relief. Yeah, it wasn't witty, necessary. sarcastic, grumpy doctor. Right. Right. So he'll be good for the recovery going forward. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So what are they going to do with the president? Just keep her in a cell. Until Adama wait until Adama wakes, wakes up, up and, and he can finish decision. what he started. Yeah. yeah. What do you think Adama's going to do with Apollo? I don't keep know. Keep what Ty did and just said you're. You sleep in the brig now, and then I don't, if yeah, you need I don't, you to fly, you fly. I'm not, I'm not sure. Because they need pilots. And... Yeah, they can't really afford to not ha- use them, so yeah. I don't know. I'm just worried about if they got to get back to Cobalt to get that team and to take the arrow there when I think it'll Starbuck be a smaller it. group. I think it'll be like... But Cylons already know about Cobalt, well, so they're so just going to be waiting there. What I think will happen is Galactica and the fleet, or Galactica, will have to send the fleet somewhere, Yeah, and then... Galacta will have to go somewhere else and give up their position. And draw them out so yeah. they move their forces away and from then, yeah, Cobol. And then, yeah, have the Cylons move their... Sneaky team in and exactly. that's get everything I, done on Cobol they need that's to. That's what I would do, but, you know, I'm a brilliant tactician, so... Well, it sounds like a pretty good plan. I don't so, know how else you would do it. Yeah, think outside the box. Yeah. Like Starbuck does. Exactly. Well, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, what should people comment on after this double season premiere episode? Favorite of the storylines that's going on. Yeah. Which one are you more Cobol, interested in? Cobalt, Caprica. We all know she loves Gaius' backstory and Cobalt going on right now. So. Cobalt, Caprica, or Battlestar. Galactica. Yeah. Let us know. What are you focusing? What had you most intrigued? Yeah, what's drawn you in I think so far? trying to figure out what's going on with Commander Dom. What their, what, his status and what he's going to do is my most interesting. Mine too. Yeah. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to reviews, full length commentary, access to polls, hopes, big we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Thank God. Or thank the gods. <laughs> what, which one do you... Whatever. Who cares? Maybe you're not a silent after all. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to head back into outer space. Board the Battlestar Galactica. Sweet. Where some more Bears Beats. Battlestar Galactica. What's going on? What happened last time we watched? Oh, Gaius is still being weirdo crazy guy Damn. on COBOL, seeing sh- having weird dreams. Caprica, Star- Stardust, what's her name? Starbuck. Starbuck. Starbuck is still on Caprica with, with Hilo. Hilo being well, they've, stuck. They found the keys to her pickup. Or Humvee. Yes. And they took off. Don't know how you're going to drive off of Caprica, but right. well, they're looking Maybe for a ship of some has kind. has wings or something that converts. Like Could the be. Team America Humvee. That'd be sweet. And then let's see what's happening on the Battlestar. Captain Adama. Commander Adama. Commander Adama got shot, is recovering and alive. Yep. And they fought off an assault. From the Cylons. From the Cylons. The, the robot Cylons. Yeah. So what's next? I don't know. Are we going to reunite our three... Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen in these here. next two episodes, but I'm hopeful for the future. Yeah. Should we jump in and find out? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us if you feel like it. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full length commentary, access to polls, hopes, people we watch next. Things down there. Check it out. So true. Twitter and Instagram, if you want to. If you want to. If you don't, forget about it. Let's watch Battlestar Galactica. Here we go. Lords of Cobalt, take these brave men into your arms so that they may share in the everlasting life that awaits us all beyond the veil of tears. So say we all. So say we all. Amen. No eternal life, no damnation. Only oblivion. Real nice. Take care.
because they died here. Uncle. She's saying, like, if you die in Cobol, you're a, trapped? I guess. LT, crash. Oh, yeah, Chief, we're right there. Is he losing it? That's so weird. What's the what? What? Why? Oh, he's the leader of this group, and he got two men killed, so. They're building something. Chief, is that a, a missile? They're building a missile battery. Great. They can just sit back, launch a missile barrage that'll wipe out every living thing in this valley. Great. Just to kill five people? I know, it seems kind of like a long, a lot of effort when mm. they could just go in there and kill five people pretty easy, I feel like. Maybe they're setting up defenses knowing that the Galactica is likely to come back. And his heart rate's creeping back into the 130s. When you miss something, he's still hemorrhaging somewhere. Well, they're not surgeons. <laughs> Is he gonna make it? How should I know I'm not a psychic? Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> Ty really doesn't want to be commander of this ship. Leader of this ship, yeah. I'm sad that they changed the intro so we don't get any more drums. I know. My drum solos were really good. It's unfortunate. Now we don't have to worry about spoilers. It's true. At least for this season. Who knows what they'll do for th season three. Bring back the drums. Bring back the drums. What's on your mind? Uh, I need some medication for the president. She's not the president anymore. Coddle's a little busy right now. Sir, she's Why aren't you Ill. in the brig? Because no one put me in there. Uh-oh. Should have kept your head down. <laughs> rescue mission. Search and rescue. For who? We lose a plane and nobody tells me? The one that's on COBOL? Dum Dum? What are you hovering about? Uh, it's the press. The press? They're demanding to know how much longer we plan on holding them and when... Tell them to f*** off? That's what I would do. Yes, sir. Evidently the Quorum of Twelve is aboard. They're demanding to see you. They demand. Ah, oh, great. Put them in the wardroom and hold them there until I have time to see them. They're gonna be sitting there for a while. Jesus. Really? Did she forget where she was? She's not been taking her medication? Right, because she's been arrested. Yeah. Probably on withdrawals from her Kamala extract. Could be. Go fast. Yikes. He believes in her. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird. It's almost so uh, polypass. Oh, great. Race, invented murder, invented killing for sport, greed, envy. It's man's one true art form. You've done some killing of your own, I think. Yes, well, we're your children. You taught us well. I don't like her. Our child will bring that salvation, but only if you accept your role as her father. I don't like people that shove their religion down your throat, which she is very clearly doing. Yeah. Be a man, Gaius. What? Be a man. She's saying, be a father, Gaius. To the baby that doesn't exist yet. Mm hmm. Satellite. Those Raptors come looking for us. Risking their lives to rescue us. Cylons will shoot them down. Well, you better work to take that down. Five for parts. Should be uh, up in the air in, I don't know, 90 minutes? 90 minutes? We got men down on that fracking planet! Yep. I don't suppose you want to do this for me. Never was much for public speaking, sir. So why are Colonel, we what exactly is going on? Oh, God. <laughs> Motion carries. Colonel? We demand immediate access to the president. Oh, she's going kind of crazy right now, too. There's just a ringing. Excuse me. Ringing. It's the last person that needs to know about her condition. No shit. <laughs> okay, then. 
take care? Uh, uh. Because what's his name's on ship now, and she's gonna go squeal to him, right? Zarek? Yeah. Yeah. What is guys doing? Is he scouting for people? Looks like it. I saw two centurions through the field glasses continuously for five minutes. Wrong. We owe it to Sasanus and Tana to take those frackers out before they kill anyone else. You got about 90 minutes to get it taken care of, too. I've never fired a gun in my life. I haven't fired one since basic. You? No, there's all mechanics. <laughs> we can't go up against an arm to defend a position like that. The wipe us out in the first two minutes. That's enough! You gotta be smart about it, then. Smart about it. I fail to see what this has to do with the status of time. Maybe that's why I'm an officer and you're not. Dismissed. Well, nobody's trusting him right now. Destroy any SAR craft sent to find us. There are no other friendly forces present. What's all this graph business? It's a five paragraph order. Our mission it's a basic to command tool that's taught at Officer Candidate School. It's just not usually used this literally in the field. <laughs> this is absurd. What, we're taking on the Cylon army, are we? Us? Well, four, five of them. It's not an army. And shut up right now. Nobody tells me to shut up. You I'm the vice president. Down and shut up right now. I was waiting for him to pull out. I'm the vice president line. <laughs> He's assistant commander in chief, right? He's like assistant to the vice president, right? <laughs> like, look, she obviously needs her medication. I keep trying to tell anyone that'll listen. Sounds like she's talking about the scrolls of the prophet Pythia. She is. There's a uh, a drug that priests sometimes use. It's called Kamala extract. You got any of it? She doesn't even know where she is anymore. You're kidding. You should let him see her. Little school teacher's mind has gone bye-bye, and the vice president is either missing or dead. 25th Amendment. Galactica Apollo, we are preparing to jump to Cobalt. Roger that, Apollo. You are clear to jump. Oh, boy. Hopefully they get that satellite taken out. Cock the rifle, click the safety, open the scope. Maybe just leave the scope open. <laughs> One less thing you gotta remember to do. One of us will betray the others. Yes. During the attack. Yes. But if the attack fails? You'll die. Not me. I'm God's instrument. Oh, great. As if his ego wasn't big enough. He's a genius and God's instrument. Oh. But she just said he's not protected on Cobol. It's the planet of the gods, not the planet of God. Yeah, they're not real gods, according to her. So he's not Zeus. Uh, maybe we should tell them to shove their demand up their collective asses. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Super. Tell them that they are going to get to see what has become of their precious president. You tell them that. Oh, boy. He's a couple drinks in, making decisions. He's got the Kamala extract. So now she's going to be normal. Hopefully. <laughs> that a table saw? They just changed the deployment. They brought the two that were guarding the dish down here. Now the dish is unprotected. It's the SAR mission. They're here. They're right up there, Chief. We gotta go. There's no time for discussion. All right, everyone, move out. It's game time. We're taking out these toasters before they kill any more of us. Do you think the dish is undefended? Yeah. There's only five of them? Yep. Because Gaius is an ass. Move. I can't do it. Really? Move. No. <laughs> Chief. Get to whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. Put it down. Put it down. Going down there. You're going out there, or I'm gonna blow your brains out right here. Oh, yeah, that'd be helpful. Fucking idiot. You better shoot, Lieutenant. Three. <laughs> First thing Guys has done that I've agreed with. Guys just shot Crash. Yep. 
Is he dead? Yep. Now you're a man. God, I hate her so much. <laughs> Well, I mean, he kind of made the right move, though, because, I mean, Crash Yeah, gonna... but she's such a condescending bitch. Now you're a man. F*** off. <laughs> Frack off. Whatever. Just unplug it. Planes did that, yeah. <laughs> He's like, Sweet. somebody loaded the explosive rounds. Oh, Apollo's flying. Gaius held his own there. Sure. No like, points. Uh, the scrolls tell us that a dying leader will lead us to salvation. Oh, she's not dying. She's crazy. I am dying. I have terminal breast cancer. Dr. Cotter will verify the diagnosis. I will lead the people to salvation. It is my sole purpose. <laughs> Sergeant the Guard, yes, sir. remove these people from the break and escort them back to their shuttle. <laughs> Lots of thoughts going through everybody's brains now. I want to know what Zarek and Tybal think of what they just learned. They all seemed... Like, like they believed her, right? Yeah, Zarek was so proud of you guys. Because I've taken life. It makes you human. Madra is my heritage. It'll be all right, guys. Girl, you don't make no sense. <laughs> I'll be your conscience. Come on, Doctor, we'll get you out of here. Yeah, that's just what you want your you conscience. Just told him murder's his heritage. That makes you human. Murder makes you human. What? I really fracked things up for you, Bill. <laughs> yeah, he really did. One little meeting is all it took. I have decided to dissolve the Quorum of Twelve. And as of this moment, I have declared martial law. <laughs> Super! Well, he really mucked now, it up. Now he's really fracking it up for when Atama wakes up. He's gotta stop drinking. Yeah, he's making really interesting choices. All right. The doctor tended to Adama. Mm -hmm. Got the bullets out. And it uh, looks like when he wakes up, he's gonna be a uh, martial right. dictator. Really pissed. What do you think he w his plan was? I don't know. It, it had to structure. have been something similar because I don't I don't know where you go from taking command over from a president. Yeah, of but your... it would have been less uh, PR. It would have been done more because tactfully. Because now the quorum yes. of all the colonies knows about her situation and her yeah. prophecy. Yeah, it would have been done more tactfully. I'm and sure. And that's just going to spread throughout the whole fleet. Guess we'll see. And uh, the people are saved from uh, Cobalt. Yeah. No update on Star Starbuck. No, I'm hoping hoping we get some answers for Starbuck. You must just next be cruising episode. along without any issues on uh, must be. Caprica. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just chugging along. Got any other thoughts after this episode? I'm excited to see where it goes next. Yeah. Yeah. Should we jump in the next one? Let's do it. Let's watch more Battlestar Galactica. Here we go, Doctor. You've just uncovered your very first Cylon. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of uh, things come about from this stuff, because Chief's back, Gaius is back, who tested her. Oh, yeah, he didn't know. What to do with you. Uh, Colonel, you got to believe me. I am not a Cylon. I'd never do anything to hurt Adama. That's what your girlfriend said. Get him the hell out of here. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Putting her in there with her? 
Here we go. What we got here? I don't know. Survivors? Password for everybody to sign in. I want to blow these Cylons away before they ever knew what hit them. Uh oh. It's Hilo and Starbuck. Cylons wouldn't need a map. They got navigation systems in their brain. I was thinking we could head southwest towards. Do you hear that? Heard him cock their gun. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. I hear that. We're sitting ducks out here! You don't see any shiny silver out there. I think we're dealing with the human variety. Hope so, they're not as tough as mechanicals. He was involved with Lieutenant Valeri, who most certainly is a toaster. That word is racist. I don't like it. Sure. <laughs> The Cylon detector I developed doesn't work. Clearly. No. Oh, okay, that's how he's gonna get around the past test for her. He didn't tell anyone what you did on Cobalt. What you did to Crash Day. I mean, Gaius saved your life, so... Legally speaking, if the President is incapacitated, shouldn't I take over her duties? Legally speaking, I have declared martial law, and that makes you nobody. Unless you want to join Rosin in the brig, I suggest you get to work. It's good to see you, Colonel. <laughs> I mean, his silent detector did work because... For sure. Boomer tested positive for being silent, so... And three other ships are also refusing to resupply Galactica until the President's reinstated. Yeah. The people will speak their mind. Come on back. We miss you. We could bring the game to you. I mean, somehow I doubt Colonel Ty would approve. I like how everybody respects him, but he's under arrest when he's not on duty. Um, oh, screw them. Like, you have to explain yourself to oh, them? Wouldn't hurt. Might cool things down a little. Depends on the explanation. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just feels kind of touchy feely. You know, let's all sit down and talk about how we feel. Oh, yeah, listen to her. She's got tons of wisdom in the situation. Honey. You handle this the way you want. They'll respect that. Eventually. She wants him to take the command by the balls. Yeah. And like... Immediately. Failure to comply will result in stern measures. Message ends. Your brig is only so big. You can't arrest everybody. Yeah, she likes being the wife of the leader. Makes her feel powerful. The effective range on those little guns has got to be like 25 meters at most. Stalemate. Or not. <laughs> it can't all be Cylons. Kara, these are the Caprica Buccaneers. I don't think so. Give me a ball, little girl. I'll shove it up your ass. <laughs> Doing what? Raiding military stores for ammo, anti-radiation meds. Surviving. Replay. He's right, Starbuck. I lost 20 cubits on that game. <laughs> I want to know more about the sport. I know. Huh? Can't shoot, can't pass. I sure as hell can't take the point. I think it's like football or basketball. I don't know. It's co-ed. Sounds like military, though, too, yeah. right? They were in high altitude? Why were they at high altitude? Training. High altitude training. Oh, oh, oh. Because, you know, auction. Gotcha, gotcha. Are... It's probably like... It's got to be an outdoor game, then, right? Quidditch or something, right? Quidditch. <laughs> Sir, the refinery captain's still not cooperating, and now seven other container ships are refusing to release their supplies. Come in with a hard hand and people get pissed off. Tell them to get over there and bring back the supplies. Whatever it takes... Man, Adama is going to be pissed when he wakes yeah. up. Oops. Who's shooting? Yeah, what the f*** do you think is going to happen? Four civilian dead. How the frack could this have happened? What would you expect, genius? You put a pilot in charge of crowd control. <laughs> 
If ever we needed you, Bill, it's right now. <laughs> Jeez. I've got to get up here now. I am right with you. What good is it going to do, though? It's not like you can take control back. The ship will have to find some place to hide in the fleet while we rally support among the people. I've got an idea about that. You're not going to like it. Zarek? Yeah, I don't think she needs to rally support. Clearly, people are going to be fine with her coming back. It's how do you regain control yeah. when he's outrageous? Deal with it. I do not want to command. Don't you get it? Jeez, why do I listen to you? Yeah, why do you listen to her? She's the worst. God, they're the worst. I love you so much. Shut up, Ellen. I guess you really must hate me. The f relationship. Don't talk to her. I'm here to determine whether you're a Cylon or not. All we have to say is he needs to take a sample. Chief? What did you do to him? He's not breathing. No, he's dying right now, Sharon. I can save him. If you tell me how many Cylons there are left in the fleet. I don't know, but I'm not getting a pulse. Yes, you do. Do you love him, Sharon? Eight! There are eight! Was that the truth? She knows how many there are? Perhaps. Like eight different models or eight I know, total eight total, models. I know, yeah. Because there's 12 different looks. That's what the 12 models from the miniseries meant. Army. Hell of a lot better than the two of us. We're going to assault an airbase, steal a heavy raider, and get the frack off this planet. A heavy raider? Doctor, I need your help. But it's illegal, dangerous, and in violation of your oath as an officer. You're a lousy salesman. <laughs> you, sir. Is D getting him to sign off on? Yep. Tell him to get it fixed. Clearing a path for them to sneak out. Mm-hmm. I just want you to know that this um, this isn't about you and me. Goodbye, Dad. Is he going to wake up in time to stop him? No. Okay, make it look good, but not too good. Hold it! Uh oh. Oops. You can either stand aside or you can shoot me. You'll have to decide where your duty lies. Madam President, she... You never saw her. I understand what you're trying to do, but taking part in that is a line that I won't cross. I wish you well. He doesn't want anything separating him and D at this point. It's kind of heating up. All right. I think he also has the. He knows that this is going to be a bad thing and he doesn't want to have to be a part of it. Corporal Venner reports the former president's missing. Missing? Two men down, cells empty. No one on or off the ship. Attention. Set condition two throughout the ship. Repeat. She's already gone. Dr. Cottle is still on board. He says he was forced to request the Raptor at gunpoint. Five Paulo. Son of a bitch. D, put me through to that Raptor. Uh oh. They couldn't have done it on their own. Anybody notice off-log calls? Scrambled communications? No, sir. Nothing. They all know he's out of control. Right. Get a new it was her. Captain Apollo. What is Mr. Zarek doing here? That's where you're going. Well, Mr. Zarek, it would seem the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Call me Tom. <laughs> Oh, nice to know installing a regulation pyramid court was one of the priorities of the resistance. Hmm. So it's like a basketball game? Basketball, soccer, handball? 
Nice shot. Nice shot. It's like a weird game of basketball, but with safe zones. Yeah. There'll be tests. Mental. Physical. Was she like she's some kind of lab rat? Definitely. You got shot. It was his son. So. Thank God. Or thank the gods. <laughs> What, which one do you... Whatever. Who cares? Maybe you're not a silent after all. Helen, can I speak to my XO? Helen, get the frack out of here. Crazy lady. I watch this movie. Seriously, we were like two minutes. <sighs> two minutes from being done. Why don't you go back into your room? Let us finish. I'll okay. come and put that in as soon as we're done, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. you. We'll be right in, okay? I made some bad calls. <laughs> I've done that. Not like these. How mad is he going to be about these decisions? He's probably not going to be mad. A lot of pieces to pick up. Then we'll pick them up together. Where's my son? Oh boy. Adama wouldn't have, or Apollo wouldn't have had to do this if he hadn't declared martial law yeah. and made, you know, drew a, a hard line in the sand. Oh no. You can't do experiments on a dead person. Well, I guess they can. They can still do experiments on a dead person. Different kinds of experiments? Yeah. And that's how Cylon babies are born. They die? It's human blood. Like you drop of human blood at the beginning of the episode or drop a Cylon blood at the end of the episode. Oh. And now one's just going to go... Poof. And a baby's going to pop out, out of the floor. Half Cylon, half human baby's just going to Pop sprout right out, out of the floor. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of a theory. <clears throat> well, what's on your mind? How's Adama gonna clean up this mess that Ty put him in? Yeah, for real, yeah, I don't think that he can. The wheels are in motion. Yeah. President's out of the brig and... And now Apollo is no longer part of the f like fleet, really, yeah. so... I don't have a, a good leader to do combat missions with. That's gonna be an issue, I think. Yep. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, your two best pilots now with Starbuck they're and gone. Apollo, they're gone. Yeah. Starbuck has found a... Uh, a resistance on Caprica of 50-so soldiers or you yeah. know, survivors. Hopefully they're able they can, to uh, find a ship and commandeer yeah. it's it. It's like Hilo was looking for a, a large raider or something like that. With, like radar? A, is it radar or raider. was it raider? Raider, mm. like a bigger raptor maybe. Could be. That could fit everybody and they could head on back to the Galactica. Yeah, I guess. I don't think it'll fit 53 people, but yeah. I guess we'll see. Yeah, got a troop transport or something. Head out into space. So I think that's their plot, plot line. Yep. Bring a little couple more survivors with them, right? So what do you think of uh, Pyramid? I liked it. Yeah. Uh, it's a little like... It's, it's like, like a... It's like basketball, but more physical. It's like a handball, basketball, lacrosse mix, maybe. Kind of. Like tackling and stuff. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more uh, physical than I would choose to participate in so you're not gonna start playing it i get pushed around a lot yeah. on a basketball court so wow. are you used to anyways hit the weights i guess i just need to hit the weights yeah. yeah well what should people comment on after these double episodes what's your favorite storyline going right now yeah what are you most interested in going forward what's the, what's the president gonna do yeah. with zarek what's gonna happen on caprica what's adama gonna do with uh, the mess that ty gave him yeah Exactly. And, uh, anything else? What's gonna? Or um, what this yeah. guy is gonna do? Yeah, what guy is gonna do? What guy is gonna do? Yeah. Does anybody? I think mean, guys doesn't even know what he's doing from next to from one day to the next. No, no. Anything else? Thanks for hanging out. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And join us next week for more Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, fun commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. 
Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. a Cylon force on Kobo. I know it's dangerous. And I have little doubt that you are communicating everything I say even as we speak. It doesn't work like that. I'm not wired in. Sharon, it's simple. It's called Wi-Fi? <laughs>
Right now, they could be holed up anywhere in the fleet. I want them found. She was dangerous enough as a symbol of resistance. I want to search every ship in the fleet. Quarantine procedures. Jesus. She can hide, but she can't run. D. Sweeping every ship in the fleet. Seems like it'll take a while. Adam is back in command. My father, he's down the back. Or just came in over the wireless. He's a tough old bird. <laughs> Paul's like, ah, oh, shit, I'm in the doghouse now. Yeah. Like a son. Denouncing his father. I feel like this is a bad idea. I call on all free thinking people in the fleet. I I can't do this. Sorry, everyone. Thought I could, but I can't. Loves his dad too much. How does this thing work? <laughs> What's she gonna say? On the religious card, though, wouldn't it? Just that she's the chosen one? Obviously. <laughs> Who brought me in? This big guy named Anders. Where is he? He died. A piece of shrapnel had nicked his aorta. Massive internal bleeding. I'm sorry. We did everything we could do. Bummer. Well, that was quick. <laughs> he didn't last long, did he? Boy, who leads that resistance now? Are you a Cylon? I am most definitely not a Cylon. So I am a doctor, not a Cylon. Jerry's still out. Is he a Cylon? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they could just be drugging her, right? Oh, she got arrested for shooting a Cylon? Apparently. She was more than that to us. She was more than that to me. She was a vital living person. She couldn't have been just a machine. Could you love a machine? Interesting. He's... He's, he's kind of rocking his world. It's, yeah, it's he's the humanity of these things. He yeah. knows. You'll see her again, Chief. Excuse me. There are many copies. You'll see her again. One of them's pregnant, apparently. Yeah. With Helo's baby. How many patients do you have here? Am I being interrogated again? Yeah. We have 223 patients at the moment. Two doctors and five teachers masquerading as nurses. The biggest killer in this place is infection. That's why we have you under quarantine. We don't know what you brought in with you yet. Your test results will be back this afternoon. You have a lab? And you'll be happy to know that you are a very precious commodity to us. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, you do realize that you're one of a handful of women left on this planet actually capable of having children, right? I mean, that is your most valuable skill right now. Well, I don't want a child, so just drop it, okay? Well, no one's forcing you. He just implanted one in you, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of women with your history forego bearing children of their own. My history? I saw the fractures on your x-rays. A lot of old fractures from childhood. It's interesting how, how you managed to break every finger on both hands. Do you want some psychoanalysis here? Did someone break your fingers, Karen? Did he just call her Katie? Kara. Why does that table have a mirror on it, and why is it open? This guy's... I mean, this is weird. This feels like Cylon... History. Cylon-like shit. He just implanted a Cylon baby inside of her, I bet you. Oh, jeez. Marine fire team standing by to board the Astral Queen. No one's gonna follow her. No one's gonna believe this crap. The 
wants to make a suicide run to Cobalt. Please let them. Oh boy. He is not happy. Give them your blessing. <gasps> this is your path. The one the gods picked for you. Just gotta go around and tap them all in the forehead. Guess so. Anders, we must have been over this line ten times already. Yeah. Silence. Where have you been? Tracking you. Who is she? She's with us. No. Where is she? Captured by the silence, apparently. We're no just with her mind. Maybe they're trying to clone her. Make a Cylon copy of her. Could be. We did collect her blood and her reproductive cells, and he was in her hoo ha, probably putting a Cylon baby in. Now we'll see how many follow. Two, three at the most. How many people follow? How many ships? The rest of the fleet, but the battle star. All of them go. Yeah. All it takes is one, and then everybody's gonna be like, "Okay, let's go." Those are two marks there. You had to go back in last night while you were asleep. Some internal bleeding to tie up. Nothing to worry about. Mm. Just about done with you, Starbuck. She never told you her name. Starbuck. She told him Kara Thrace. Hey, I just woke up. Now you're going back to sleep. Maybe he's just a crazy doctor from the same asylum that... No. She pulled the Ivy out. Oh, she just pinched it. It is, it certainly is none of your concern. She's like, oh, please help me. Oh, no. Morning. She took a glass from the mirror. Yeah. I never told you my call sign was Starbuck. <laughs> now cut his face off, put it on your face, and walk <laughs> out of there. <laughs> He's just saying you can't kill him because his consciousness is now uploading into another model. Right. <laughs> or copy. He's going to be walking down the hallway to get her now. They're all having babies inserted into them. Sushan, it's me, Kara. Hold on, okay? I'm gonna get you out of here. It's too late for her. I can't live like this. Make the baby machines. Is this how they make? Make Cylon babies, yeah. It's like an incubator, kind of. Worked. Who's who's in that? Is that Sharon flying must, that thing? Must be. Starbucks gonna walk in there and see her and be pissed. Twenty-four ships, sir. That's almost a third of the fleet. And that's just right now. Right. The other people will be like, well, maybe we should go too. Being a Cylon fracked up a bunch of 
What do you have planned? Supposedly they can't reproduce, you know, biologically. So we decided to rape human women. You know, if you agreed to bear children, it'd be voluntary. Maybe even set you up with someone you like. They know who you are, Kara. You're special. So everybody knows that Sh Sharon's a uh, Cylon and they're all cool with it? it? Looks like Anderson knows. Or Anders. Troops. Find out where the next farm is, liberate it, then the next, no, and no, the next, no, no, and the next. No, no, it's not why you came to Caprica. Yeah, you have a mission to fulfill. Go find Earth. And come back and take them there. I'm coming back. I said it. I meant it. So take her, Hilo, and Sharon taking that heavy raider? Yes, so. Leaving the resistance here in Caprica. Well, all right. We learned a little bit about how um, the Cylons are creating their humanoid copies, right? Mm-hmm. They farm them out of well, they're trying to, human anyways. females. At least that's okay. Where do you think the like the copies that they have already successfully made come from? I don't think they have a successful. Like, like where did all the Sharons come from? That's not what they're doing there. They're not. No, they're oh, they're, they're trying to make. They're trying to impregnate and, like, people with si yeah, silent okay. babies. Uh, be fruitful. Okay. But they haven't done it successfully yet. Only the ones that love apparently. with a human partner. Apparently. So hmm. just the one. Okay. I thought that they were using the women to farm like duplicates. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, they're trying to make just baby hybrids. farming. Okay. That makes sense. All right. That's kind of. Yeah. As soon as he said there was like 200 people in the hospital, I was like, there's not 200 people. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, this is a Cylon situation. I was a little fishy before, but after that, I was like, yeah, he's got to be a Cylon. Yeah. So now we know another model, though, mm -hmm. what he looks like. So we have almost half the 12 models identified. Right? Yes. So that'll help going forward. So when they get back... Are they going back to Cobalt or the Battlestar Galactica, do you think? Cobalt. So, is anybody going to freak out when another Sharon walks out? Definitely. Who's going to recognize her? Uh, if, Apollo. And he's going to be like, you shot my dad. Yeah. You think that's what's going to happen? I think so. All right. Well, should we jump into the next episode? And For sure. See what's up next? Let's do it. Let's watch some more Battlestar Galactica. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. That's almost a third of the fleet. We're gonna follow Rosalind to Cobalt. How many more go this episode? I'm not interested in people who decide to join up with a religious fanatic and a terrorist. That's their business. Now, what have I lost? Twelve transports, seven freighters, three construction platforms, a private cruiser, and a mining ship, sir. We can't afford to lose mining ships, not in our situation. I mean, maybe we should go down to the surface now. Go down now and start looking for this tomb. I wouldn't be too eager. There may still be Cylons present. And some of us will die down there. This guy especially. <laughs> if there is anyone here who does not have the stuff... Is that Harry? Yep. So he's going to be a recurring guest star because that's... He's not some extra kind of actor. He's either a Cylon vessel or it's a raptor scout from Galactica. Either way, we should shoot first and ask questions later. It's Starbuck. Cylon vessels, this is Starbuck. Do you read? Do you read? Say again, this is Starbuck. Talk to her. <laughs> Good to see you too, Captain. <laughs> I'm not a captain anymore. Did he kiss her? Oh, yeah. Could have just not come in so hot, Sharon. I mean, just let her go around uh, handcuffed, right? Mm. She can't get into too much trouble if she's handcuffed. I'm pretty sure Silence can break handcuffs. <laughs> right? Maybe that one guy do that? Well, I'd give him a second to prepare if she was <laughs> handcuffed. Honestly, if impregnating a Cylon, like, turns them 
more human and gets them on your side so that they're less controlled, then maybe they ought to just start impregnating all the Cylons. Drum solo. Should we do what the nice lady says? She's the president of the colonies, you moron. And yes, we're gonna do exactly what she says. No real weapons. No. Thank you. Now put that thing out the airlock. Ooh! Ooh! Around here, Lieutenant. Fuck! You said you no. were gonna hurt her! Hey! Hila! Listen to me! One of those things for two rounds into my father's. I know how to find the tomb of Athena! Do you? It's great to see you again, Kara. Thanks for bringing in the trash. Why is Apollo giving Kara some I know, attitude not... there? Thanks for bringing in the trash? After he just kissed her? And she also didn't know anything about what, what Sharon happened, did. Yeah. You did a tour as a, a squadron exile. Mueller's a malcontent. Just crushing those with his hands. Congratulations. I'm honored, Commander. I, I won't let you down. Ship is a family. I love everyone on this ship as much as I love my... Not quite. Thank you, George. I'm sure you do a fine job. I was hoping it'd be hot, dog. <laughs> You're telling me that kid is leadership material? We have very few choices. He's the best. He's a good man, Saul. I mean, who is your choice, Saul? <laughs> Are you gonna eat those nuts? You're just gonna fucking crush them. Maybe he's uh, getting them ready for a Sunday or something. Yeah, because screaming questions is always helpful. We have lost no one that cannot be replaced by someone loyal chosen to remain. This is the fleet. Thank you. Is there any truth to the rumor that there is no Earth, it doesn't exist, and you just made it up? Freedom of the press is not a license to slander. Broadcasting that kind of garbage is the quickest way to find yourself in a holding cell. That goes for all it's of us. It's not slander if it's true, though. He doesn't believe in it. Sharon told me there were eight someone's left in the fleet. Why didn't I ask who they were? Because you're an idiot. So I wonder what guys is doing with this time. I didn't see him last episode. I'm not interested in your prophecies. I know that there is a Cylon force on Kobo. I know it's dangerous. And I have little doubt that you are communicating everything I say even as we speak. It doesn't work like that. I'm not wired in. Sharon, it's simple. It's called Wi-Fi? <laughs> we all know about the tomb. I can show you the path. I don't know how- Do you believe her? Yeah. To her. She wants her baby to live. She wants Agathon to live. We use that. Or does she have ulterior motives? Whatever the risks, whatever the consequences, I am going anyway. Better name a predecessor then. Do they have any soldiers? Prisoners. What? The prisoners on board. Mm -hmm. Leader, Cat, I'm confirming that I'm cleared for my attack run. Am I clear? Uh, Executing eyeball run. Affirmative, you're clear. Rolling in. Weapons hot. We shoot each other. Okay, roger that. Let's go, baby. Uh oh. Here we go. Who shoots who? Bob and Weave, Bob and Weave. She did a good job dodging all the asteroid parts. Yeah. If you were the last one who should be telling me what to do. After the stunt you pulled, stealing the Cylon Raider and then tearing ass back to Caprica. Yeah, because you're clearly the poster boy for military discipline, huh? Yeah, Paul's kind of being hypocritical. He uh, kind of broke the president out of the brig, so. So we do what we must in order to keep Rosalind safe on the surface of Cobalt. 
The scriptures say some of us will die in Google. One man in particular. Apollo. Only one man will die on Cobol? No, he's saying one man in particular will definitely die on Cobol. I was wondering when we finally get a little R and R around here. Can I have my ball back, please? It's radioactive. Why is he being so obnoxious? I just want you to know, Kara, that I'm your friend. I love you. If there's anything you want to talk about, anything you want to get off your chest, then I'm here for you. What was that middle part again? The I love you part? Did you say you love me? <laughs> Well, um... No, you love me. You can't take it back. There's no take backs. You're dreaming you're, it, Kara. You love me. You're dreaming it. You love me. Dreamer. Mm-hmm. I think he kind of meant platonic love, and she's, like, sticking to that word. A little thinking about it too much? She is just f***ing with him. Okay. Back off. Back off. Look out! Away rescue team. Tell them to board the tanker. Restore navigation control. Oh, God. Is there a, another guy that's about as good? Doubt no? it. Apollo's literally the only one that could run this shit. And those that didn't board the galleon took the high road. The rocky ridge that led to the tomb. I mean, you don't have to be, like, super impressed by that because she's a robot so it's just programmed into her to know that shit and they take everybody of importance <laughs> down to this planet there's something there I hear something is that animals or robot marching don't know. <gasps> it's a trap. Sharon going. I think she's going to help somehow, but she's gonna flank and like rip a head off a robot. Something. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You're just playing the long con. Think so? Where's our Sawyer when we need him to know? <laughs> I'm not talking about anger. Talking about rage. I can feel it. Right here. Like it's gonna burst. I feel like I wanna scream. Who's he talking to? I don't think the problem is that you've been betrayed. I think it's that you feel helpless. It's time to heal the wounds, Commander. People have been divided. I said that's enough. The children are separated from their parents. His child. I think Adama's gonna take Dee's advice. I hope so. I was gonna say, at least take her book. You might need that. I want to see all recon material on Coble immediately in my quarters. I'm putting the fleet back together. This ends now. He's feeling really good right now. To be continued. Isn't this like the middle of the season? How's this? Of course it's to be continued. I guess it's a two-part episode. Got a little cliffhanger. I mean, yeah. it's always to be continued. Exactly. Right? 
I guess the thematic of this episode is to be continued. Right? All right. Well, uh, we're putting the fleet back together. That's right. Heading back. Everybody's going to be on around Cobol now. There is strength in admitting defeat yeah. and doing the right thing, I mean, even sh- though it makes you seem weak, right? So it could seem weak. I think D pointed out why he was feeling so guilty and feeling like he did wrong is because he did promise he everybody promises, on the fleet that, yeah, that they'd he stick would together. Lead them to Earth, f- mm-hmm. help them find the path to Earth. And then you got a third of the fleet following the president who says she knows no- how to find Earth. Yeah. Yeah. So. And he's ignoring her because he yeah. doesn't believe. So do you think he's going to, are they going to reconcile? And- yeah. He's going to just go along and see what happens and I guess we'll see. follow along, reinstate the president. I think, he, I think they're going to save their ass down there on Cobalt at some yeah, point. They're going to swoop in with some assault to help take out some Cylons that are probably going to be at the temple already, maybe? Something. Yeah. Do you think they'll actually get a path to Earth? Or I hope so. Yeah. Isn't that kind of the point? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I mean, it's the point of the show. Is there, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, what else is on your mind after this? These two episodes. The only other thought I have is this could just be a... What's it called when you... Scavenger hunt. This could just scavenger be a giant hunt. scavenger hunt, right? Yeah. Like You get one clue. The arrow leads you to a map, and the map leads yeah. you to something else, and that leads you to something else, and eventually you get to Earth, but... Breadcrumbs? Six six seasons from now, we'll get to Earth. <laughs> There's only four seasons, so it won't four be Four seasons long. from now, we'll get to Earth. So, all right. You think the, this might lead to the next breadcrumb, so uh, to speak? That would be my guess. Okay. How else do you keep keep it going for three more seasons? Yeah. yeah. Two more seasons. Two and a half. So, yeah, we're almost halfway through season two. Yeah, so we got the second part of this two-part next. Do you think they'll find the temple in, in that episode? Yeah. Yeah? I imagine. Okay. No other thoughts? No. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Do we think... This Sharon is going to be... Is she an actual ally, or does she have ulterior she gonna motives? Be, well, I think she's an ally, but is she going to be turned on at some point and... By Hilo? Be and... a, by the Cylons. Oh, and oh okay. She, does, she knows again. she's a Cylon. The other Sharon didn't, didn't and, and she was a sleeper cell that point. would activate and become a mindless killing machine, right? This other one is somebody that's loved and... Love is consciously all. making decisions to Love go against the all. Cylons, too. So you think she actually loves her, or is it just software? Yeah. Love conquers all. Okay. So do you think there's a way for Cylons and humans to coexist? Yeah, I really do. Okay. I think that's what it'll get at. Yeah. It's going to take a couple seasons to get there, but I think that's what it'll end with. Okay. And how long did it take you to suss out the uh, Doctor as a Cylon? Yeah. When, when did you know for sure? That's right. Right. Thanks for hanging out for Battlestar Galactica. Come back next week. For more, yeah. Mm-hmm. Check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full income to your access to polls, helps people we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. in hat i just said that i said it better oh, okay <laughs> howdy folks welcome on back to you me and the tv and it's time for some more Battlestar galactica and last time we left off on a cliffhanger to be continued that's Remember what was right. going on not really they were on a certain planet. Cobol. Yeah. And they were headed to the secret place, and the medicine woman got killed, yeah. and the Cylons were attacking them. Mm. They were. Cylons are definitely guarding the secret place, of course. Yep. Meanwhile, what did Adama, Commander Adama, decide? He decided to call a truce. Reunite the fleet? Mm-hmm. Good call. So what's next? I don't know. You don't know? We'll get the fleet back together, which is great. Yeah. Should we find out what happens on Cobol? 
Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access, full income, commentary, access to polls, helps people we watch next. The link's down there. Check it out. Twitter. Instagram. You don't have to say it. They know. They can see it. It's right there. Not anymore. Let's watch Battlestar Galactica. Here we go. And when we retrieve the arrow, we will open the tomb of Athena, and we will find the road to Earth. What do you think the road to Earth is paved with? Good intentions. Okay. The scriptures say some of us will die on Cobalt. Like a certain Captain Apollo. Whoa. That's right, they're out to try and kill Apollo. It's raining a lot. Have you read that book? No, haven't had the opportunity. If we only use information contained within the Book of Pythia, which makes sense, is most likely located somewhere in the mountains to the west of the City of the Gods. They'd be setting down somewhere right here in this meadow, then heading west. But Dom is going to find it first. He's going to be there first. They're going to come up on it, and they're going to be landed there waiting for him. Could be. With respect, that terrain is so rugged, I can't imagine navigating it without a map or a guide. His girlfriend's open. We should take shelter until the storm passes. Sounds good. Where are they, they going to take shelter? I don't know. <laughs> it's certainly not possible with a ship of this size. Be going down on a raptor. What? You'll be going. We're gonna come back together. Hopefully on our feet. Not even in body bags, we're gonna be coming back together. Yikes. How much longer do you want to wait, Tom? Well, this guy's antsy to kill him. <laughs> After your code, Harry. <laughs> Simmer down. <laughs> Are your drum set ready? No. Cylons believed in the gods. You don't get her started. They believe in one true god or we don't worship false idols. You were quick enough to come on this mission. Lead us all to some tomb only actually mentioned in our false scriptures. We know more about your religion than you do. Yeah, they can store it in their computer and analyze it. Uh. Jesus. A child will be born here. In this room. She's trying to get it right now. Do you have any notion of how ridiculous you've become? The whole tone of our conversation is completely shot to pieces. So when he has sex with that mattress, <laughs> it's going to give birth to a child? Yep, Cylon. Half mattress, half Gaius. It's not Starbuck, is it? Careful, guys. You're in dangerous territory now. <laughs> The ship's gonna blow up! No, damn, damn. Done that one. Done that one, so he's gotta be someone else. Why is he in jail? Enough. I can't do this anymore. You're right. Game's over, you win. I like this look better. Very sporty. She's much more relaxed. I'm not real. You are not really getting secret messages from the Cylons. You're just crazy. Definitely within the realm of possibilities. Or it's his Cylon chip in his brain trying, trying to, to trick mess him. with him. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he in this cell? I think he's just wanted to go to a place alone and just have a conversation with himself and her. Or what are you exactly? As a chair. I'm your subconscious fracking with your mind. That's basically what I thought's been going on this whole time, yeah. but but why would his subconscious choose to put her in sweatpants? That's the only thing that is to wake him up. Like no more sexy time. 
Go down to sick bay and get a brain scan. That would sell it, wouldn't it? So is she his subconscious or is there actually a silent? Does it? Do you think it matters? Either way, he's yeah, okay. convincing himself of these things. That's what you said to me once. But you reminded her of President Adar. I don't really know how to respond to that, sir. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> Adar was a moron. <laughs> he didn't say, you remind me of him too. <laughs> Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I just said that. I said it better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Losing that priest really fracked her up. She's lost a lot of people. Friends. Yeah, she's reading the book upside down, too. <laughs> That's how you translate it. Oh. The most accurate translation, if you can read it upside down. And let the Cylon do it. What if the Cylon were to get a weapon and shoot him herself? Then the Cylon could find herself getting shot real easy. Not until we find the town. Yeah, he really wants a problem. No, Harry, you settle down. Baby, gonna have your brains as long as he gets my books. Yeah? That'd be a real blessing for her. Her? You know it's a girl? Yeah. I thought it was Gaius' kid. If Hilo dies. Is that a chip? Certainly wouldn't want me to do this. <laughs> oh, I told you not to move. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> Will you stop going crazy in there? Yeah, Looney Tune. I think she's really in his head because she, the way she was talking about the baby will be born in this and she was in the cell, which makes me think Sharon, once they get done here, is going to be put in that cell and that's where she's going to give birth. So she has information that Sharon is born. Like she has this information she shouldn't have that guys wouldn't have. Right. Subconscious, right? Mm -hmm. I wanted to say bang <laughs> <laughs> but that might have ended bad Commander it's good to see you I'm surprised Rosalind was so happy to see Adama because last time they saw each other he put her in the brig she's with us Commander how is he going to treat her I don't know the way he was acting over her dead body on the ship was... I want you to die. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Dad. And you ask why. What the fuck did she just do to him? How did she know that he asked why? She's still... Because their brains were probably still... Listening? Uploading, right? Downloading? Yeah. Sort of like... The Alexa app? There's no, um... Unidentified objects. Um... Well, you can obsess over these as much as you like on your own time. <laughs> you can hypochondriac one on every bloody ship. <laughs> I love him. He's maybe my favorite character. Yeah. He's like the creed of the show. That's what he reminds me of. Yeah. I can't believe the old man reacted like that. You know, they killed the other Sharon. What? In cold blood, not even a trial. Well, it was kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing. Hello, Chief. You know who I am. She has all the brains. Does she remember that she dated him? Oh, I'm sure. We have an awkward Cylon love triangle now. Not if we go back to the ship with a map to Earth. And a sad story of how many people were killed on Uncobra by the Cylons. This guy's a bad dude. 
he's a bad influence on Zarek. Zarek seems like he can be a somewhat sane person if he doesn't have some bad dude just feeding him poison. We made the decision. It was the right one then, it's the right one now. Whatever else the cause, I won't second guess that outcome. It's time to go find this tomb of yours. Love me? Yes. Do you trust me? No. Yes. And don't ask me what I have to do. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Hey. What's she gonna do? Kill everybody. Kill everybody? She's gonna kill him. I'll take the father and you take the son. You should see this! That a girl? I make my own choices, I make my own decisions, and I need you to know this is my choice. It's one of the old stallions. I thought Dom was gonna be like, and this is mine. <laughs> Just to see you get your due. Peace out, Harry. Just gonna point to the sky. Just go up. It's in outer space. That's the way to Earth. Two, three. After you. Maybe turn a flashlight on before you go in there. Throw a flare, or something. In the tomb. How do we know this is the right place? We don't. But it's a tomb, all right. Oof. He's missing something. It's gonna activate when she puts it in. Definitely. Ah, oh, damn. Oh shit. They teleport? Are they on Earth? Or is this like a projection? Must be a projection, right? You heard like a light bulb go on, light bulb sound oh. go on. Or? The jewels match the constellations. This is the map. This is the map to Earth. Maybe. No, it just means when you're on Earth, the you constellations can see all the look constellations. Like, that's what they look like for us, right? We're standing on it. Yeah, they're standing on Earth. We're standing on Earth. Earth is the place. Where you can look up in the sky and see all of them. There in Scorpio, I've seen that before. It's the Lagoon Nebula. Mate, it's a long way from here. But at least now we have a map and a direction. Fly away from that. Or to somewhere where you can see that. Yeah. The president of the colonies, Laura Rust. I feel like this slow clap is way out of rhythm. Is it supposed to get faster? Never took Adama as a slow clap guy. He was just trying to show everybody. He's on board with I, her? Yep, I am on board with this. We are together. Told you. Good call. Silent chips are orga organic, so you wouldn't see it. Like It wouldn't be like a little computer chip in his head. Right. It's syphilis. Exactly. I don't want a baby born in this cell. Now he's like, shit, she is in my head. Boomer is going to bear. Our child. 
Still not sure how it's going to be your child if it's their child. Unless you steal it. A little uh, Raising Arizona here. Raising Gaius. Or what are you exactly? Cylon Syphilis. Does it burn when you pee? To the end of the human lives. Super. <laughs> I don't think he wants that. Oh, God. So when she says our baby, I think she means the the royal us. As in, she represents the Cylon. Gaius rep- represents the humans. It's our baby. Yes, right? the end of the human race will just be... The, the hybrid. Right. Half Cylon, half human. Mm. And that's what she means by our baby. Seems really exciting. Yeah, but she wants the humans all to die still. Yeah, she's crazy. So I don't think Guys is on board with that. Since he's human. Right. All right, well, that was a pretty good episode. We know kind of how to get to Earth. They right? found the map to Earth. So Somewhere f- in the sky that you can see all of well, the constellations. It's another galaxy, I think. That's what that is, a galaxy cluster that you can see from our planet, right? It's like Andromeda or something. Andromeda galaxy. He said it. And it wasn't Andromeda. It wasn't? Well, there's another couple galaxies out there. But uh, So he, they got to go back to the system where Apollo remembers seeing that and then look up in the sky and be like, okay, it's that big. If it's smaller, they got to go closer to it. If it's bigger, they got to fly away from it, right? That's the direction. I mean, generally, that's how directions work, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like to follow directions, though. I like to make my own way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. Well, what else is on your mind after that episode? I just want to see where... Are you expecting Harry to die? No, but I'm glad he did. Yeah, he, he was, was only in... just bad news bears. He was just in those last two episodes, right? The yeah. two home episodes? Pretty much. Okay. Well, should we see what's next for the yeah. Battlestar Galactica? Please. Let's watch more Battlestar Galactica. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. I'm sending in the Marines. Tell them to get over there and bring back the supplies. And this is old nudes. We don't need to see this. Oh my god! Oh my god! This recently discovered... Yikes. We need some stock footage of raging Marines. We can indicate that with the eyewitness statements. You've no right to come in here like this. What, am I under arrest? No, ma'am. And what if I refuse to go? Then you'll be under arrest. Hello, Miss Beers. It's nice to see you. Welcome to Colonial One. Madam President, it's an honor. What colony is she from? I don't know, she's very pretty. She sounds Australian. All we really want is a balanced story. Show us what the men and women of Galactica are really like. That's it. And I need you to do it now before we tear each other apart. Gotta tell both sides. Combat Duala. Colonel, it's your wife. Something's wrong. What else is new? She's drunk again. From the darkness, you must fall. <laughs> she did that herself. What does it mean? It's right out of strawberry jelly. <laughs> means she's a Cylon who's just been triggered Activated. to do that herself. Yeah. Think so? Mm-hmm. That number update? 47,000 we lost Harry? <laughs> it might have been. It might have been 54 years the last time. I helped. Thank you. I've been meaning to throw them out. No. Put them in a safe place. Hold on to them. History of what life used to be. Mm-hmm. You filming this? We've been rolling since Colonial One. Mm, lovely. Support Galactica. They all work twenty-four hours a day. Get a close-up of that, would you, Bill? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's Lucy Lawless. It's Zena. No. Is that her? I just saw her name in the credits. I guess starring. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I didn't watch Xena. So I've never watched Xena. I have princess. seen. I have seen Xena. I know of her, but I've not watched the show. 
From the darkness, you must fall. Failed and weak. To darkness all. Kataris, not one of his best. Smarter than he thought. Sure, maximum freshness. Didn't come all this way to interview the soup of the day. Is it? Lucy I Lawless? I think that is. She usually has dark hair, though. Hey, this is for my buddies on Freighter 212. Yeah, that's for you. Cat! Cat, you want to tell me what the hell you think you're doing? Um, so you were literally talking out of your ass. <laughs> kind of. So you must be the reporter we were expecting. Huh. You didn't have to dress for me. It is, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna sell a little Apollo. <laughs> of course it does. It's a rare commodity around here. I mean, I'm the vice president. I'm not gonna beg, I tell you that much. And the speaker of the gods or some shit like that. Tool of the god. Oh, so excuse me. The one true god, silent god. That's right. No, no, I'm afraid not. I am um, very busy. Really, really busy at the moment. Snowed up. Walking back and forth. In the hallway. A strange little man. Yeah. What a weirdo. Chief, fix your ship. You get the hell out of here now. Camera out of my face. Her her ass had more to say last night, and you shut it down. <laughs> God. Reality TV brings out the worst in people. <laughs> Only sent us an invitation to send a delegation. You're it. And uh, stay away from the bar. Not kidding. Thought the camera crew was going with him for a second there. Initiating pre flight. This is blown to transit. Cabot would have entered the space. Ooh, someone's trying to kill Ty. Good thing they did pre-flight test. It's probably his wife. Deanna Beer's left two messages already. She's giving you the chance to tell your side. I don't have to explain myself. Lay off the bottle, dude. Always the proud soldier, taking the heat because it's honorable. I hate her. <laughs> when are you going to realize we're all alone out here? She's up to no good. Yeah, she's manipulating him like crazy. I feel like she's behind all this stuff. Yeah. Is she a Cylon? Or just a raging bitch. Yeah. One of the two. When you're out in the field, it's not that easy. I have a hard time watching it with the lines. The scan lines? I can't. It looks better if you watch it on the little screen. It makes the scan me lines are big. puke. Right now, something's wrong. Uh oh. Call Dr. No! He's a human doctor, though, not a Cylon doctor. <sighs> and the Cylons hit, and I realized that this is all that I know. Tiny screen watcher. It, you're right, it's not bad if you look at the small screen, though. If you have enough ambrosia, they don't really hurt that much. <laughs> Cheers, Colonel. Cheers. That's a setup. Yeah, she's just loosening his lips. But you were in full command of Galactica for more than a week, and in that time there were a number of controversial actions taken. You're talking about the Gideon. His wife is a lunatic, and. They're just <laughs> recording him drinking while he's answering questions to make him look like he's a. Unhinged alcoholic making bad decisions. Colonel, why do you think there was no official investigation into the Gideon massacre? Please come. Get out of my face! <laughs> oh boy. Did you get that? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Good. So, what do you look for in a new recruit? Coordination, good reflexes, total commitment, most of all. Someone crazy enough to follow me into combat. 
I think I have all of those except for the last one. You wouldn't follow Starbuck into combat? I mean, I would, but maybe. I don't know. I will not sacrifice a few people we have left on the altar of public outrage. So four civilians are dead, and time the shooters take a walk. Nobody takes a walk. We all gotta live with it. I mean, they let a whole ship of prisoners loose, so. <laughs> Speed 205. Keep your power up, cat. You're dropping below glide slope. Something wrong there? Yeah. Wave off. When we make a contact, the squadron's got seconds to put it all together. Pre flight, weapons check, communications, one mistake. She's losing it. Wave off. No, she's putting down cat full throttle now. I can't feel it. When you Fucking shit. We gotta get out of here. They're gonna kill us. We gotta get out of here. She's been drugging. I feel like the news crew gave her those pills. I feel like they're fueling the drama for their show. Maybe she's behind the I don't threats think so. on Ty. I don't think so. I think she's been self-medicating. Then the real question is whether or not it matters to you. You know, I'm sick to death of people like you questioning my patriotism. We all want this fleet to survive. She says that she's trying to destroy it. <laughs> she's trying to Divide. slice it in half. Yeah. She already swapped tapes. That's exactly what I would have done. You would have swapped tapes? Well, I mean, if I were her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Didn't he give it back to her, though? Gave her back the equipment, but not uh, the tape. I found that the stress of uh, survival revealed leadership qualities that I didn't even know that I possessed. Yeah? I understand your party took several casualties. Yeah, you killed one. It's great. Oh, it's probably just a full slump. Ignore it, okay. really. You're okay. Bell, really. you take the Honestly, you're fine here. Re station. Please, you're as safe as houses down here, really. Uh oh. Cylons. Just keep your eyes open and follow us. All right, let's go. Let's get the birds in the holes and move them out. Get this ladder out of here. I'm guessing Apollo's no longer, you know, sleeping in the brig. No. All sins forgiven. Damn it, take the shot! That's a kill! Yes! Greatest show's clear, Commander. Does this ever get any easier? No, ma'am. It gets harder. I like D. I do too. She's just, like, genuine. Yeah. Well, we didn't lose anyone. That's a good day. And this news crew got a little bit of everything sure while did. aboard the Galactica. Ella. Yeah, yeah. I know that book. That's by Guitars. Ah. He's the one. He's the one? Because he was one of the guards on that raid. You didn't drink? Looks like he's a Cylon. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> Somebody has to pay for what happened on that ship. I was in command. I sent you there. It's my fault. Gideon was an accident. This is a choice. Colonel, we're all right here. So she didn't do it to herself. Dang. I understand this might be hard for you to watch. It's a hatchet job. The fleet already thinks we're a bunch of trigger-happy assassins. This just confirms it. You show us with our pants down and our asses hanging out. Yeah, that's just what they need to see. Adama liked it. I think it's great. I think she did exactly what we asked her to do. And she put a human face on the guardians of the fleet. Warts and all. They are human. I'd like to see the end. So would I. What's the end? The baby. Sick. Not a single member of Galactica's crew has asked to resign. Not one. Um. Survives. And with Galactica at our side, we will endure. 
This is Deanna Beers, Fleet News Service. Oh, the silence was just watching it. Hmm? I'm still alive. She's still alive. And the baby? It was saved. We lost two raiders relaying the images back to the fleet, but uh, I think the sacrifice was worth it. We must proceed. She's a Cylon. Fucking Lucy Lawless. Truly is a miracle from God. God damn Cylon. What a bitch. God damn it. So she's going to be a regular now. She's a big actress too for TV, so. Yeah, she's good. How do you know? You've never seen Xena Warrior Princess. It lasted a long time. Okay. <laughs> she must be good. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh boy. Well, we know one more model. Yeah. What is that? Eight? Eight or so? I can't remember. Hmm. We see Lalas is the Cylon. We know the way to Earth. Or, uh, sort of. Yep. And, uh, well, there's a couple good episodes there. There was a couple good episodes What's there. on your mind? I'm excited to see the progression of, like, how they start to map out how to get to, to Earth. Earth. Yeah. Um, they haven't really gone into that yet, but I imagine they'll share that at some point in time. Right. And um, still don't like Gaius, so yeah. nothing new there. Wow. Do you think you'll ever come around to him? Probably. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of the point, right? Yeah. He's supposed to be annoying now. and Just like how you hated looking at like Sawyer, Sawyer and Loss, and by the end he was one of your top five? Yeah. There you go. I like. I just like guys because I love how crazy his scenes are with his Cylon syphilis. Yeah. So well, that was kind of a different. They were kind of playing with the whole fact that the, the whole time the show's kind of been in this kind of shaky camera mm-hmm. mockumentary style. Because from what people have said in the comments, that they almost made it kind of like that oh, to begin with. Interesting. Like they wanted it. Like there's a film crew on the Battlestar. I'm glad I didn't have to watch it with those lines. Yeah, the whole scan time. lines. Oh, yeah. that's. That's the, the technology they have on their I cameras. Know. But yuck. They don't have HD TVs yet, apparently. In the future. Yeah. No 4K LED flat screens. Technology well, really goes to hell. We don't have one of those either, but I guess maybe someday. <laughs> someday. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else is on your mind? What do you think of Lucy Lawless being a Cylon? What do, she's just had full access to the Battlestar. Yeah, that's scary. She gave them a lot of intel also. Yeah. The silence with that, with that video. video. And the uncut footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Can't wait for next week. See yeah. see how it all pans out. Well, what should people comment on? What Lucy Lala show do you know her from other than Battlestar Galactica? Or maybe this was your first experience with her. Because I know she was on Xena. I remember watching Xena when I was little. The Warrior Princess. Warrior Princess. That and Hercules. I think they were kind of in the same universe. Huh. So, let us know. What your favorite Lucy Lava show is outside Battlestar Galacta, if you've ever watched any of her shows. Sweet. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to reviews, full link commentary, and access to pull us up to pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. size of it is probably a Cylon base ship. Cops on its way to intercept. Uh oh, a big ship. Buckle up. Howdy folks, we're going back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to fly through outer space once again for the Battlestar Galactica. Woohoo! And where are we going? Where are we heading? What happened last time? We found a map to Earth. Yeah. It has to do with the constellations. Yeah, we gotta follow... If they can just find all the constellations in the sky where they're supposed to be, then they're at Earth. Was it the uh, Capricorn or like the Scorpio constellation that he remembers? The, uh, Scorpio the has a the galaxy. galaxy inside yeah. of it that is visible. So yeah. we got a direction to head towards the galaxy. Bigger it gets, the closer to Earth they are. Yeah. Right? And what else happened? That was the Xena Warrior Princess. Uh, as a Cylon. Yeah.
She's, Lucy Laws has joined the cast. Yeah, she joined the cast for one episode to be a reporter. Mm-hmm. It's like making an op-ed piece, sort of. Yeah. And then we find out she's a Cylon at the end of that episode. Yeah. So. Think she's going to cause some more trouble? Definitely. Yeah. Well, should we jump in and find out? Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Battlestar Galactic. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full and commentary access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Twitter and Instagram, if you like it, follow us. If not, don't. Just forget about it. Let's watch Battlestar Galactica. Here we go. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. Silence are hacking our network, attempting to access our Uh-oh. mainframe. Do so you remember pop this? back up? No, I remember. It's just been a while. Must be planning to pop back up. Holy silence. Holy shnikes. Mm-hmm. Carl Agathon. He's the guy that loves Asylum. He can't be trusted. You want to sit in? Maybe next time. I mean, if Starbuck likes him, why wouldn't they like him? You know what? I don't care who or what he fracks. He saved my ass down there, all right? Simple enough. I need a drink. Ooh, bummer. Scrapyard, huh? Approaches made her nervous. He's afraid you'd be watching. If there was. Screw it. The two outcasts because they fell in love with Sharon. It's not gonna last forever, all right? Earth is out there. <laughs> right. You guys can all go to hell. I'm gonna go find Hilo. Good idea. Give me that Cylon whore taught him a few tricks. Oh, she's gonna punch her. She's gonna punch her. Okay. She loves you. Fill you in on the rest of the plan. She and I were gonna muster out at the end of our service. That we would get married, maybe we would have children. He's really upset about that. Probably be grateful. You know why? Because that freak in her belly could have been mine. Hey, you okay? Sorry. Son of a Oh. Boy, put it down. Put down the giant ass wrench. I didn't know why I'm mad at you. My shirt's dead. Thing in the brig. That is a shirt. That was a completely different copy. They share the same memories, though. Mm. Which one would different think? Different motives. I mean, if she really loved Chief, she should have had those feelings for I don't know it's very confusing perhaps she didn't actually love him that much oh god uh oh jump 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 that's not good no they like that's her navigation stuff yeah like infiltrated her brain for a second playing those high pitched noises in her ear Sir, I'm running every diagnostic we've got. Checking each line of code could take days. I am not interested in excuses. Fix it! It's not an excuse, sir. It's a fracking fact! Uh Uh-oh. That was a little testy. Pull yourself together. Yeah, get your shit together, dude. Deteriorating conditions. This crew needs a rest. It's finally hitting them so. The problem is it's not coming. Though there is no break coming. Yeah. No, just do your best. Nobody's expecting any miracles. Maybe that's the problem. Do better than your best. Is he gonna build a new ship? This is strictly an off-duty project. Nobody takes one minute away from regular maintenance and repairs. You got it? They're already burnt out. It's a hobby, though. Gonna lay on them harder, though. Ugh. 
Wait, it's not like that. I said forget it. It's gonna take a while. How much time do I have? Weeks. A month at the outside. Better get your affairs in order. Coming soon, President Gaius. <laughs> Gods help us. <laughs> that I expect Viper Maintenance to take precedence over his hobby project. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. 50 cubits says he gets it in the air. Yeah. Is there no more alarms when the oxygen level gets low? We moved. <gasps> really? Honestly, I am. Just pumping in laughing gas, basically, at this point. Nitrous oxide. Yeah. Sabotage. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oh, boy. Better shoot one of those windows open. Fucking reload right now? God damn. They're awfully close to that door when that blue. Is that all Chief is working on? Is his own little ship right now? Looks like it. Shit, he's gonna have this thing running this this episode. Adamus could be the first one to fly it. Oh. Billy. Hey. hey. Awkward. Where have you been on board? I just arrived. Do you have actual memories of being with the chief before the silent attack? Yeah. Paul's getting a little flirty there, huh? You're the first in my heart. And nothing is ever going to change that. I don't, I don't believe, believe her. her. No, I don't believe right? her anymore. I think she's playing now. Sharon? 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 She is a Cylon. No. She has lost all ties to her emotional self. What about you, the baby? I'm a liability to that. A mistake. Hilo, this logic bomb will run its course in a matter of hours. Once it does, the silence will be on top of us. They're gonna kill us all. How do you fix this? You gotta, like, take it all down, wipe everything out of it entirely? System reset? Take all systems off. She's she's not a mistake to them, though, the way they were farming. The, yeah. the women. This She's their goal, right? Her being able to breed. Yeah, but her being able to love is a mistake, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. D. Hey. Uh, what are you doing here? Communications, I think. I think. Where's the chief? The tool room? Uh, getting some rack time, sir. Uh-oh. What's this, chief? Piece of crap out there is never gonna fly? I gotta try, colonel. What's the point? Because that ship the work, that's all I've got left. He's so negative about it. Why wouldn't it fly? Sir? You got some obsolete DDG-62 engines that's taking up space in his flight deck. Crap, but I told him that I would have a crew in there and I'll haul him out as soon as possible. Take a bottle for my troubles. <laughs> or a jar, I mean. I'm not hopeful. Commander, I'm not sure what I can offer you here besides my moral support. Actually, Madam President, I could use your advice. You want to what? Advice on what? Cold restart the entire ship system and Completely then restore them using our pre-war backups. Leaving us with our pants down until we... Yeah, I mean, I don't really feel like there's any option other than this. I mean, it can't be that far back if it was pre-war. 
Right. I mean, that wasn't that long ago, really. They'll take control of all of our systems, and then they'll have a hundred ways to kill us. Just... I am feeling a lot of anxiety about the timeline here, and I would like them <laughs> to stop talking about it and just do it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm contemplating this. We both know the Cylons are experts at manipulation. They I know. It's like, is she telling them that they have to do that so that... that it makes them vulnerable? Keep her away from Callie. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> They're treating her like a fucking rabid dog. <laughs> do you still carry your father's pocket knife? Give it to her. She's like, you gotta be shitting me. Can you set me up with a fiber optic comm link? I need broadcast to all frequencies and direct contact to the mainframe. Oh, we're just trusting her. Okay. Is she gonna like put that in her mouth? Connect. She's got some sort of plug in. Oh boy, here we go. There are so many of them. On my mark, initiate the computer wipe. Miss the window. The virus sticks over every system in the ship. Oh, well, that's why they're staying back. What the hell is she doing? Guys, is like, uh, what the? She's jacked in. Why aren't we firing on them? They're just sitting there. Right? God, there must be hundreds of them. Yeah. Or maybe they're we're, holding we're some sort of weird were. formation. Oh. Oh, she. I, she I took feel them like she uh, flipped the signal back to them to disable it. All of them. Cylon sent a computer virus. We just sent one back. Do we trust Sharon now? Yeah, I guess. Vipers, weapons free. Engage. Just don't shoot each other. Or is she just trying to self-preserve herself and she felt like she was going to be killed by them anyway, so she... I don't know. Take this thing back to its cell. She earns enough points. Does she get to leave the brig? I doubt it, but she, those, all those points do mean something. Blackbird flight is cleared for launch. Run up! around. She just tried to figure out the controls. Uh, oops. Starbuck, where are you? Oh, God. Contact. Starbuck. Starbuck, where are you? Oh, God. Look like she warped. Yeah, like she jumped. She jumped the light speed, right? Of course, you lost contact with the damn stealth hip, remember? <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, so she went stealth. Commander. We're gonna trust it on the carbon fiber. <laughs> Thank you. Does the honors, Madam President? Named it after her. 
<laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I guess as long as they leave her in that cell, if the battle star goes down, she dies. So she's got a <laughs> she's got a stake in it. What are they gonna talk about? I built a ship. It works. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Not sure what to think of Sharon. There. What's her? I don't know. Actual motives, other than I think it's just keeping herself alive with that baby. I think so at this point. All right. Hmm. Or is she actually on their side? I I can't decide yet, but I know for sure she wants to keep that baby safe because that's like a mother's instincts. So, mm-hmm. so I'm just gonna stick with that for now. Yeah. She her, won't be doing anything to harm anything until she knows that that baby's safe. Her emotions towards Hilo and. Chief, it's though. weird. I, I know I, like, it doesn't feel right. It's almost like the when they talk about it's not really. It feels love, forced. It's software. Right? Yeah. Yep. It feels forced. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting. But they got a new ship, a stealth ship. Very cool. The Blackbird Allura. And if they can make one, they, they could make another. They're gonna make a whole fleet of them. They could if they and had enough, enough resources. Yeah. yeah. They're just kind of scrapping together parts there so it might be hard to make another one after that yeah engines is probably the hardest part i would imagine so what do you think they'll use that ship for flying (laughs) same as they use the other ones for they're gonna go on i don't know that they'll really go on any that important guess we'll see all right well we're about to watch the halfway point of season two let's do it and this is an extended episode what bonus 15 minutes of action nice you ready bring it on Let's watch some more Battlestar Galactica. The Resistance base camp is here. We can drop seven Raptors straight down through the Martok Valley and be in and out before the Cylons have a chance to launch their raiders. The Raptors return to Galactica with the Resistance fighters, and we jump the hell out of there. Huh. I've tasked seven Vipers and one Raptor to stay with them. Seven Vipers? And one Raptor. That's a lot. How many jumps to reach Caprica? 241. Oh, boy. Action station, action station. Set condition one throughout the ship. This is not a drill. Repeat, action station, action station. Well, Madam President, looks like you picked a hell of a day for a visit. Mr. Commander, sit rep. Buckle up. We are, from the size of it, it's probably a Cylon base ship. Cops on its way to intercept. Shit. Complete to emergency jump. Uh oh, a big ship. Sir, I'm getting colonial transponders. Colonial? Hell no, they're using our own signals against us. Weapons hold. Hold the jump, too. What? This is the Battlestar Pegasus to the ship claiming to be the Galactodoc. Please respond. Pegasus. I got goosebumps. Is it an entire battleship of Cylons? They replicated all of the people. Oh, I don't on. think so. Galactica, this is Pegasus Actual. Madonna, is that you? Admiral okay. Kane. Well. Well, we got another battle star, huh? This is a miracle. Galactica Paul, you are not going to believe what I'm looking at out here. Now you got two battle stars, though. Yeah, more raptors. Who's in charge? More raptors and vipers, too. Well, she's an admiral. She's the head of the fleet. So she's admiral, in charge now? Admiral Kane was a name I remember from saying she was the leader of the whole fleet. So now she's in charge. Oh, yeah. well, that's yeah. going to be weird. Well, now they got enough vipers to go on a rescue mission, huh? Go get the resistance. Where have they been this whole time, though? I know. That's weird. Oh, they're adding numbers to that. Yeah. About 2,000.
They don't look excited. Well, you don't know what they've been through. She's definitely a Cylon. You think she's a Cylon? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it's the bangs. Commander Adama. It's an honor. Allow me to present to you President of the Colonies, Laura Rosler. It's a long story. <laughs> Dr. Balter? Yes. That's Dr. Vice President Baltar. <laughs> Why do you know Gaius? Welcome back to the Colonial Fleet. Technically, shouldn't they be welcoming, welcoming you back? back? <laughs> they were 47,000, you were 2,000. How many other people do you have with you? Yeah, it's just the Pegasus, it looked like, and all the Raptors. Where was They had no other capital ships with them or anything like that? She's a Pegasus is a newer battle star, right? That was one of the because they were about to retire the Galactica with for us all. Yeah. Happened, so. Found you. So you've been attacking their fleet. Well, you know what they say about the best defense. It's a good offense. Galactica's finest. <laughs> is he still in their moonshine now? Yeah. I can't believe the Silence didn't kick your ass up one side and down the other in this bucket. Sorry. I'm sorry. No one gets to insult your ship except you. <laughs> <laughs> and just for that, you have to skip this round. <laughs> <laughs> well, our networks were offline in preparation for the overhaul. Yes, Pegasus has always been a rather lucky ship. Two lucky ships. <laughs> I'm skeptical. Rosalind looks skeptical too. Like she's like, there's a little too much luck going on here. You can send up your logs when you get the chance. Yes, sir. Something wrong? She's like, uh, you're in charge now? <laughs> Madam President, you look like I just shot your dog. No, I just, uh, just the uh, commander and I, we've been through a lot. She's like, we just got our trust back didn't each other and now I can't even confide in him on what to do next it's all up to her now Secretary of Education <laughs> turns out it wasn't a com relay at all it was a staging area full of 15 squadrons of raiders Admiral Kane ordered our XO to uh, attack those two were real close he'd serve Here's the thing. He refused the order. No fucking way. She asked for his gun, shot him in the head with it in front of the whole crew. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's a horrible joke. <laughs> Girl Ty's like, what the what the frack, man? We haven't been able to get anything useful out of our Cylon. I'd like to set up an appointment with Dr. Balter as soon as possible. I want to see what their Cylon looks like. It gives me no pleasure Who is to it? take command, Bill. So is your Exo still alive then? Yeah. <laughs> think he's sad to be down the totem pole a little bit? I don't think he's sad that he's not in command anymore. I think he's sad that now... The family dynamic changes, you know. Where's the Galactica CAG? Uh, right here. Let's say the rundown on the squadron in this, Captain. Oh, he's serious. Uh, I'll keep that in mind, Daddy's boy. Let's see your ordnance list. <laughs> this Pegasus crew is, uh. Buttheads? Yeah. Th this model's been very useful, in fact. Given us key insights into a Cylon information system. I take it we've encountered another colonial warship. You gonna ignore me? Pretend I can't speak? Pretty much. 
You got any Sharons in your uh, on your battle star? <laughs> I'd like you to examine it as soon as possible. See if you can glean anything from it. I wonder who the Cylon will turn out to be. He's gonna get her. Her? Mm-hmm. Is it gonna be the blonde? I think so. That'll really fuck with him. Hmm? The way Six was looking at her, though, and said, I wonder who the Cylon will end up being. But he wasn't lying. I can tell you that right now. Well, I hope you won't jump to conclusions. Wait for all the facts. So wait, she did shoot the XO? That woman shot an officer right in front of the crew. Chief. Chief, take a look at this. New parts. For our fellow knuckle draggers on the Galactica, courtesy of the Pegasus deck game. Oh, spare parts, huh? We did. Thank you. Thank you, Admiral Kane. Got any porn in there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gata. I've been taking orders by attacker. This is no different. Well then, Commander, thank you. We would appreciate all the help you can give us. Shall receive. It's gotta be like a double-edged sword of emotion, right? Like, relief, but also like, man, I've been working my ass off to keep this mm -hmm. fleet alive, and now I gotta s stop giving orders. Who's it gonna be? It's somebody gonna be the new blonde. or somebody we know? It's gonna be the blonde, I think. Bad soul just to protect you from the mean old Cylon prisoner. It's definitely her. You think so? Don't you? Is it Sharon again? No, I think it's a beat up Model 6. Hair color's weird though. Is it her? Yeah. There we go. I can hardly tell. Just what her hair looks like when it's grown out. <laughs> when it's not bleach, bleach blonde. blonde. They really done a number on her. ID confirmed. Tenant Thorne. <sighs> oh, smells bad too. Is she dead? I should probably just have not let her shower. Or, yeah, use the lavatory or something. She's obviously been abused. Who gave it away? The universe would be a substantially better place if they were exterminated entirely. Liar. You have already used the stick. It's time to use a carrot. So they can quite literally be beaten into submission. Yeah. Well, she turns off her pain receptacles, but they only do that when they don't, don't want to be feel, human anymore. Yeah. Cool guns. I'll have Apollo coordinate with your keg. Which leads me to the next subject, Commander. Uh oh. I'm going to integrate the crews. And I'm starting by reassigning Captain Adama to the Pegasus Airway. Didn't you say that you would leave his ship alone? He's been insubordinate. Even mutinous. And these are direct quotes from your logs, by the way. Oops. This Lieutenant Agathon has fraternized with and evidently impregnated an enemy agent. <laughs> he didn't know it at the time. So much for not, uh... I thought you said you had no desire to interfere with my command. Yeah. You're way too close to these officers. And it's blinding you to their weaknesses and to the damage that they're doing to unit cohesion and to morale. I don't agree. Well, that is certainly... You don't have to agree, but you have to comply. You have your orders. Yikes. That doesn't feel good. She's given you an order. You will carry it out. Permission to speak freely? You may not. Ooh. And report to the Pegasus keg. Yikes, that guy was an ass. <laughs> 
Are they the only two transfers? And his XO. I think they're gunning for all of us. Well, yeah, but what's he going to do about it? He can't, like, just say, fuck you. <laughs> Brass is bringing over some frack wood from the Pegasus to dig over my deck. This, this guy. Yeah, I'm a frack wood. <laughs> uh, the office is back here. So they're moving their chief over to the Galactica. What? So is chief getting demoted then too? Yeah. Who's going to be their new deck chief though? Hide behind this moon, which has an abnormally large magneto tail and will mask our Drada signature. Starbuck. Yeah. You have something to add? Your plan sucks. Oh boy. Paulo, pilot the Raptor with me. Your jacket says you qualified in one. Remember how to fly it. Yes, sir. Now he's got to fly a Raptor, not a fighter. Dismissed. Carol, <laughs> like... Go get the Blackbird. Take some pretty pictures of our Cylon ship. Copy that. Oh, how's she gonna... She's off the mission, so I guess she's got wreck time. <laughs> Where's the Blackbird? A Lieutenant Trace took it out. She said I had a cane order to perform this checkout. What? They bought it? Party. Oh, I heard you guys even got yourselves a Cylon. Heard she's a hot one, too. Um, Get me some of that. Okay. Hey, sorry, sir. We're just here for a little fun, huh? You're going to leave the Cylon out of that fun? So I'm assuming... They've had their way with their Cylon That's on the Pegasus. That's what I would imagine. What is the function of this ship? I don't know. Here, take a closer look. <laughs> I don't know. Great. Thorn. Lieutenant Thorn, sir. Cylon interrogator. Fight them hard and keeps them talking. Mm -hmm. He was a lieutenant too, right? Yeah, I think so. No. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Please don't. Oh, God, please don't. No. Good. Bunch of <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Great. High quality human beings. Kill that son of a bitch. Oh, you hit. Don't either of you fucking move! I think Chief really hurt him because he slammed it in the I hope bowl. he's dead. Kill those fuckers, too. He's dead. Give him a medal. Pegasus, Raptor 923. What's Admiral Kane gonna do, though, though? Commander, I am the senior convening authority present, and they will be tried on Pegasus. They're my men. One of my men is dead. Not until she wakes up. To this very day, I love her. And she looks exactly like you. My name is Gaius Baltar. And I'm here to help you. Does she have all those memories? I imagine. Except for the ones maybe in... Where he was in her sub... She was in his subconscious? I don't know if that's actually her or what. And the way he was just talking about her is making me question if <laughs> his subconscious version of her is real or not. Yeah, I don't know. They're really humanizing the Cylons this episode. Starting to liking them? Or liking guys there? Um, I'm still indifferent about them. But they've been found guilty on all counts. She's going to execute them both for murder and treason. Oh boy. I want a Marine Strike Team in a Raptor in five minutes. Prepare to launch alert fighters. I try to go up against the Pegasus. How's oh, this gonna work? <laughs> He's about to. 
This is mutiny. Treason and mutiny here. Please arrange for Chief Tyrrell and Lieutenant Agathon to be handed over to my Marines as soon as they arrive. I don't take orders from you. Action stations. Action stations. Action stations. This will spiral out of control fast. Launch the alert vipers. Adama has taken us over the line. He's left me with no choice. Launch the alert vipers. They are really making this Pegasus crew the seem worst possible like fucking in, people in inhumane. The, yeah, in the world. And may the gods have mercy on their souls. Adama's been like, we only have fifty thousand people left alive. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care. This crazy bitch will kill gotta everybody. Be, you know. We gotta live with the consequences. To be continued? Son of a bitch. I mean, they could not... They could not make this this crew more... Unlikable. Unlikable. Like, I don't know what they're trying to do here. Just stir the drama for... As if Cylons weren't enough drama. Gotta remember that humans are just as bad. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but... I think the only likable character was the other chief. That got sent over. Yeah, I guess. He didn't do anything wrong. But yeah. The other CAG. He's an asshole. His admiral's an asshole. Biggest scum of the earth. In the, that fucking lieutenant. Like, yeah. So how's this all going to play out? I don't know. The Not well. Big cliffhanger. Yeah. I mean, Galactus has less firepower, obviously. They've got less resources. I mean, they are yeah. very much on the negative game here. And then uh, it looks like Apollo and what's his name were heading Scouting. out to do their doing yeah. their uh, mission. Mm-hmm. I feel like they're gonna run into Starbuck and the the Blackbird, and she's already gonna have it all done. Possibly. Yeah. Oh boy, a lot's happened in this. That that extended episode went quick there it really did it was really fast and i I, it infuriated me (laughs) yeah yeah what's on your mind that's it we just talked about it you you don't you don't want to no i'm just pissed vocalize your your anger nope well what should people comment on after these two episodes i don't have anything to ask except for can we kill them yet or How did you feel about the Pegasus the first time you encountered them? Were you on the same page as, uh... So the Admiral, you know, get what's coming to her, or... Don't give us spoilers. We'll find out soon enough. But yeah, let us know, uh, your first impressions of the Pegasus. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. If you feel like commenting and subscri- subscribing, that'd be great. Yeah. Dang it. Do you think guys is going to be able to uh, heal that other Cylon to make her cooperative like Sharon? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that model. That model seems a little out there. Is the thing inside his head real or is it really I have no a idea. subconscious thing? Still have no idea. Couldn't yeah. tell you. Yeah. I don't think he knows either. It seems like last episode we had that huge debate. She just disappears, so I don't know if she's like got a, a neural pathway. But he asked her to it. disappear, so it was like I just don't know. It's hard to just. It's, it's hard. It's hard. Every to other discern. episode, you're like, no, she's real. No, she's fake. No, she's real. Best I can guess is there's a he, they implanted him with a bit of a Cylon, like Cylon syphilis. I mean, that's yeah. the best. So yes, it is that Cylon model, but it like is she uploaded her subconsciousness, right, like, something or something to his like. Bloodstream that goes through his brain. She Silence can like, move around his body, away from his brain to not talk to him. Sometimes right? I don't know. Well, no, he's taking it too far. I'm just thinking science fiction here. Yeah, he just took it too far. All right. Well, a little bonus topic there. Thanks for hanging out. Right. Check out our Patreon link down below. Early access to our videos, full length commentary, or access to polls helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.